Hello there, Mark Wallace here from Embarrassing Product Riches. Now, I'm just recording a quick video for you because I know that a number of people are are struggling with their autoresponder setup. So I thought I'd record a very quick video just showing you how to basically set up a, um, a broadcast message and a follow-up message. And it'll literally take me five minutes or so and uh, hopefully it will help you figure out what you need to do. So, first and foremost, we go to Aweber. Now, Aweber do a free trial. It's a dollar for a 30-day trial, I think, and then after that it goes to 30-odd, uh, no, sorry, I think $19 uh, a month. Uh, uh, that's the basic package, and then going forward, you, you, know, you obviously pay more. But anyway, so you sign up, basically, <clears throat> and then we log in here, okay? So this is where we log in, and we log into our account. Now, I will just say that certain things in here are going to be blurred because obviously it's sensitive information about lists, etc. So um, that is why certain sections around here are going to be blurred out. But what we want to do is we want to come to Create and Manage Lists. And here we create a new list. And you name it, whatever you want to call it. So this can be Test List MWM for example, which is available. It will tell you if the list name is available or it isn't available, but that one is. Then here, this is where in a few words we tell your subscribers what the list or campaign is all about. So this is a test email list to display to showcase Aweber. Very simple, from, so it comes from you. Then you can put your contact details down here um notifications i don't bother with so we save settings and then you'll see it automatically moves on to personalize your list here we've just done the basic settings that is personalized your list so company name you you know whatever whatever it may be so this is mwm then you put your website www dot blah 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 dot com and then email signature okay Right, fine, yeah, it's got to be HTTP. And that should be fine. Yeah, okay. Then email signature, you know, again, use your personality. You know, I just like to say uh, many thanks, Mark, but you could put in kind regards or speak soon or take care or you're sincerely or whatever it may be. And then you can always put under here as well uh, in your email signature, links to the website or uh, links to other websites that you like or uh, your Facebook accounts or Twitter accounts or whatever. So, you know, that's fine again. And you can do your show, social media sharing here. Post broadcast on Facebook. Tweet your broadcast. So if you do a broadcast message, it will automatically go to um, uh, uh, link to Twitter and to Facebook. And here you can change and edit your unsubscribe page as well. So you could have, uh, if someone unsubscribes from you, you could have something along the lines of, I'm really sorry to see you go, uh, would really appreciate your feedback as to why you're unsubscribing from my list. And a lot of people don't do this sort of stuff. And if you can ask them a question, they're more likely to come back to you. And instead of losing that customer, you may be able to turn them around and, and, and perhaps put them onto another list that is more beneficial to them that you own. So, you know, just think about things like that as well. Um ignore this I don't do anything with this I just I ignore that and then we just go save settings again very simple stuff okay now we're on confirmed opt-in here so you can put first name there so if you are on your opt-in form you are um, collecting first name and email address you can put first name there which is a nice bonus for people um, confirm your opt-in or first name fix confirm your opt-in or you can type your own in there you know that's absolutely fine I tend to like to put my own as well because it just shows your personality the, the generic stuff here isn't all you know it's just generic it's not showing who you are it's not showing your personality so what we could put here is uh, thank thank you so much I can't spell thank you so much for Signing up to my uh, to receive the free 
guide, report, whatever it may be. Um, I just want to be 100% sure that I have your permission to send you the guide. Please just confirm below. And we'll ping it straight to you. Something like that. So, you know, you're just adding a little bit of personality to it. And a lot of people don't do this. And it's a very good trick to do. Just a little bit of personality, it goes a long, long way. This, you can't change. But you can change the, cust uh, the, the ending. So, um, thanks again. Your free report, your free guide on X, Y, Z is on the way. Speak soon. Mark. Done. Simple as that. Okay. If you require uh, an opt-in form, yes, we strongly recommend that you leave it on. I generally leave it on. If you want to take them somewhere after they have signed up, so to a, a thank you page, for example, you would just put your thank you page in here, uh, www, and away you go. Very simple to do. And then we save our settings. Okay. Now, effectively, that is our list created. Okay. Now, what we can do, and if we are creating an opt-in form or you want to add an opt-in form to a squeeze page or to your website, we come over here to Web Forms, okay? We click Create a New Web Form. Again, very simple to do. And pick a web form here. Now, graphic designers can change these up. That's not a problem. What I usually use is the basic form and have a graphic designer mix it up a little bit they can add a nice facade to it they can add some nice graphics to make it um more bespoke to your particular website or your particular niche so what i do is i just click that load that i leave that on or you can change that you can't change that sorry um i take that off e-marketing by aweber name either put first name or so you could put first name if you wanted to save and that just adds first name there you can add a footer if you want to but generally i just leave it as it is uh, save the web form go to step two name your web form my test list you can enable facebook integration if you want to i don't normally do that thank you page again just leave this stuff this is stuff that you don't need to know about at this point in time go to step three and if you have a web designer, you click here. My web designer will install this form for me. And this sends an email to your designer containing the HTML and the instructions that they need. So if you have a web designer on board or you're hiring someone from Fiverr or wherever, this is the button you will tick. And if you tick that, your web designer's email message, and then it sends all the relevant information. If you have a good relationship with your web designer, and you work with them closely, you can send this, which is a very quick and easy way to install it. And this is the one I use predominantly. Or, again, this. This all looks like gobbledygook. It's fine. You know, just you don't need to know what that stuff is. Your web designer does, and they can install it for you. And basically, that is very, very simple. So we've done the form. That's fine. And you'll see here there's a setup wizard. We're 84% done. Now create a welcome email. So do this step. And what we do is. Now, Aweber have literally just changed their whole system and they are now offering these templates for you. Um, so you can pick a category, pick a template and then one that most suits your niche. And then you can literally drag and drop headlines, paragraphs, articles, images, buttons, follow me's, whatever, into the body of the text. For now, I don't want you to do that. Okay. I find them, that, that literally this was yesterday that they changed it and I didn't like the setup. So what I tend to do is I will come to this, go to follow up. There 
and there's a thank you for subscribing one. So if we click that, I'm just trying to see whether we can actually... So now we'll go back to follow-up, leave that page. We'll delete that one. Okay. Um, when you get a bit more au fait with Aweber, by all means, go and play with the new system. I haven't looked at the new system yet because, as I say, it came out yesterday and I've not had a chance to play with it and figure out the best way to use it. So, just come here, looking for the previous follow-up editor. Click that. Very simple to do. And you put your subject line in. And then here, it's hi, personalize, first name or first name fix. And then it's just a question of thank you for um, thank you for requesting the free guide. Blah blah blah. If you didn't get the email, this is all obviously. I'm not. I'm just doing this very quickly. If you didn't get the email uh, with the link. Here it is again. And then you just put your link. So link would be a link to your PDF or whatever. And you just make the link there by link. Then we come and do hyperlink. And then you put the URL of your free guide or video or whatever it is you're giving people. You put it in here. So it'd just be um, HTTP www.123.com for example insert and then that link now becomes active and then you just follow on with the rest of the email just by saying uh, thank you so much I'll be in contact with you very soon with some more really cool tips tricks and techniques to help you with whatever issue these people have got and I'll speak to you real soon and that's your first email and essentially that is how you set up your Aweber account and write your emails very simple. Then you can add a whole host of follow-up messages. If you wanted to write uh, 10 follow-up messages, you can schedule them for certain days. So if you come down here, with that being the first one, it goes automatically straight away. But then subsequent emails you can, you can set to uh, two days after the previous one, four days, five days, six days, or whatever it may be. Always track your clicks. You can preview it to test that the links are working, so you would test that and it would open up a new link. And then you save your message. Once the message is saved, it will automatically be sent out to your list of subscribers. And basically, that is a very basic setup of Aweber. And I know some people have been struggling with that, so I just wanted to go through a quick video to demonstrate how to do it uh, and how to do it quickly. Okay? Uh, oh, and by the way, last thing, always have a subject line and your subject line is your most important aspect of the email. If people don't click on the subject to open it, they're not going to read the email. So your biggest or your most important factor in getting people to open your emails is your subject line. So think about the subject lines, think about what resonates with people and think about what issues they have and how you can write the subject line to make sure that they open that particular email. Okay, guys, hopefully that's been useful for you, and I shall speak to you real soon. Okay, take care.